everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. If you guys are interested in checking out what my Etsy shop looks like or if you wanna see any of my merch designs, go ahead and click on the first links in the description box below. But today's video is gonna be another make candles with me video. I haven't made one of these in a long time. It's been probably like two or three months since I've, maybe even longer, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've made a video like this. For those of you that have um, been following me just more recently, so some of my newer subscribers, um, you guys have probably seen more of my uh, very structured and educational type videos. However, every so often I like to put up videos like this, so anybody that is looking for how-to videos or very structured videos. Um, this is not the video for you. This is more of relax, put it on, make candles with me, you know, just chill, hang out. It's not gonna be very structured. It's not gonna be super educational. I will tell you guys what I'm doing, but it's mainly gonna be me um, just kind of talking about whatever's on my mind. Uh, so I might ramble, I might, you know, just go on and on about stuff that doesn't really matter. So uh, if you guys don't like that, you can go ahead and click off the video now. But I know some of you will still stay and you'll still download the video, so thanks for that. What I wanted to do, because ever since I got the vessels from 1617, shout out to Vanessa, she's amazing. Um, she actually sent me a couple more vessels. Um, one is the new Jewel collection. I'll show you guys the vessels in just a minute. But I thought it would be really fun to just go through and test out the vessel, so figure out how much wax and fragrance oil, and use the Candle Science Holiday Scents in them. Why is that so much fun to me? It's so much fun. So, because I've been wanting to test out the scents, and I've been wanting to test out the vessels, so I might as well just do them at the same time. Um, so I did a lot of prep work before this video, so I went through, I found out exactly what kind of wicks, um, I wrote down the diameter of the vessels. Um, I figured out exactly what scent I wanted with which vessel. So we're gonna go over all that right now. Real fast before I get into this video, I know I said I was gonna talk about them right now, but I need to make this clear for you guys. If I get a sponsorship, if any of these videos are ever sponsored, you guys will be the first ones to know. I will be bouncing off the walls that my video was sponsored. I don't want you guys to think that just because I'm talking highly about companies that I am secretly being sponsored or paid to make the video, and that's not the case at all. These companies see that I have a following of other candle makers, so they are wanting to send me their products for free. They are not asking for a review video. They are not asking me to say certain things about their products. They are basically saying, here's our products to try, and you can do what you want to with them. And for me personally, I know that there are a lot of creators that will only make videos if they are being paid for it. And I understand that. But when I want to be using the products that are being sent to me, I'm gonna talk about it. I mean, they're taking their time and they're sending me all this money worth in products. So I might as well share it with you guys if I'm sharing everything else I have with you guys anyways. Items that I pay for, items that I don't pay for, I'm not gonna treat them any differently. I'm gonna tell you guys about it. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm hiding any sponsorships from you or anything. Trust me, if I get sponsored, you guys will know. And if any candle company out there wants to sponsor a video, I'm available. <laughs> Moving on, so um, this is the Maya, M-A-I-A, -I, I believe that's called Maya. Um, I just think it's the mermaid jar, so it looks like this, so you can see the little detailings. Um, this is like a light green color, and I chose all of these because I am gonna be doing holiday scents in them, so I tried to find the most holiday-esque type of jars that I could, and this one was green, so I figured, oh, green is Christmas. Anything that's green, white, or red, I was thinking, you know, more of like holiday time, I'd use it. So for this jar, it has a diameter of 3.25 inches, which is actually the same diameter as my matte black jars that I get from California Candle Supply. So I'm just gonna do two Eco 2s, which is how I wick those. The next one is the Copenhagen Collection. 
Everybody always loves these concrete jars because they're just gorgeous. And this one was a little bit trickier because I'm so used to my Eco 2s. I'm so used to double wicking. I am definitely a two wick kind of girl. I don't know what it is. I haven't had the best luck when trying to do one wick. I prefer vessels that are over three inches um, in diameter so that I'm able to double wick. I need to get better at using one wick and testing with them. So that is what I'm gonna do with this one because it's not it's not um, big enough for the diameter to do two wicks. So we're gonna do one. So the diameter of this one is 2.75. So we're gonna do one Eco 12 and see how it does. And again, I don't know why I feel like I need to be so perfect with choosing what's gonna work. That's what testing is for. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, and then you just keep testing. So this is the Monaco Ceramic Collection and it's the gold. So I figured that white and gold is just it's so holiday-y. Like it just, it just looks like a holiday type of candle. Um, and I, this one it has an interior diameter of 4.25 inches and we're gonna do three Eco 2s on this one. This one is from the new Jewel Collection, and this one was a little challenging for me because the interior diameter of this one is 3.5 inches, which I feel like that's a little bit too big to have two wicks, but it's too small to have three wicks. So again, with my mind trying to think of what is the right thing to do, like how do I wick this perfectly, um, I'm gonna try three Eco Ones and see how it does. I might be totally wrong. This might be like not work at all, but I was thinking that if I did two Eco Twos, it might not be big enough, but if I did three Eco Ones, it might burn better. I don't know, we're gonna try it out. And then the last one we're gonna be testing is the Moulin Rouge, and this is in strawberry. And this one has an interior diameter of three inches. So we're gonna try two Eco 2s on this one. It might be slightly large, um, but again, we're just gonna test it out. Okay, now we are going to get into the candle making. So um, I apologize if you guys can't see exactly what I'm doing. I'll try to show some different angles, but this is basically just, you know, hanging out, talking with you guys. So first one we're gonna be doing is the Moulin Rouge. And um, the, it's so pretty. Um, I just held it, the two wicks together with um, a cotter pen. And if you guys can't already tell, I love Eco wicks and I use Soy 10. So it burns really, really well with those wicks. I've always um, really liked them. So this one requires, from the math that I did, I'm going to be doing 8% on all of these. And we are gonna be doing 210 grams of wax with 17 grams of fragrance oil. And I will tell you guys the scents as I go along. So this one is Macintosh Apple um, from Candle Science that we are gonna be testing out with this jar. I really have uh, wanted to kind of talk with you guys for a little while. I feel like I haven't been able to talk to you guys um, in a long time. I used to make a lot more kind of personalized type of videos because I do really enjoy them, but I have gotten so much feedback from people basically telling me that I should be doing my videos a certain way. I shouldn't be um, rambling in my videos. I should make everything very short and concise and to the point. And I really have been trying to work on that. I know that I shouldn't allow other people to tell me how I should do my channel. Um, I know that that's what a lot of people or a lot of you guys probably would be thinking right now. But I like to take all advice into account, especially since I am very new on here. And when you grow on here and you're not used to the responsibility and you're not used to kind of trying, feeling like you need to please everybody even though you don't. And that's something that I've been really, really struggling with um, a lot. So I've been trying my best to make my videos a, a little bit more concise because I know that that was an issue that even I was noticing with myself, like, okay, I really need to stop rambling. And there have been so many times where I've cut parts out of videos because I just didn't, I just, I, I felt like I was rambling too much. I felt like people were gonna start saying something and feel like I need to please everybody because that's not the case. Because this channel is, is just for me to have fun and show you guys my business and, 
and the more I've grown, the more responsibility I feel, and you really don't know what it's like until you start growing more, and trust me, you guys, I'm so appreciative. You guys are the reason why I'm allowed to do this. YouTube is the reason why I, I was able to quit my job. Um, the income that I'm able to make on YouTube is supplementing my income from my old job, so I, Honestly, that's why I take into account what you guys want and what people are telling me because I don't want to just brush it off like, no, nope, I'm just going to do whatever I want to. I'm just going to keep making the same videos of me going on and on and on and not really making a point to what I'm saying. So it really has helped me um, take notes before I make videos. There's a lot more takes that I do. Um, and something else that I've noticed while I've filmed, like while I've been filming, um, is I've noticed the lights that come in right here. So I have two studio lights back there and just kind of the intensity of the way I talk sometimes. Um, I've started to feel really lightheaded and even in one of my videos, I felt like I was gonna pass out and I don't necessarily know what that's about, but I try to make sure that I'm hydrated and have food in me because with what I do of trying to keep up with my business and keep up with YouTube, I sometimes forget to eat. I forget to do some of the basic things that I need to do in order to just, you know, take care of myself. So I have been working on trying to do a, um, try to put out a planner. And I've been trying to do this for so long. I'm just not a planner. I'm not, I'm not somebody that has a schedule every day. Just kind of go with the flow, whatever I want to get done. But that can make me feel like I'm not getting anything done and I get really overwhelmed by everything that I need to get done. So I've just been working on creating that schedule and I think it will help me, but I've been trying to schedule a time to create the schedule so that I can have a better schedule later on. It's just crazy times right now. And not to put like a downer on this video because I definitely don't want to have any like upsetting videos, but I do enjoy these videos because I feel like it's my diary and I feel like I have more freedom to talk to you guys about me as a person and just kind of everything that's going on versus how-to videos or educational videos or this is where I get my jars and this and this and that. Um, so I feel like I have a little bit more freedom in these kind of videos to just talk with you guys and just kind of update you on me and how I'm doing <laughs> um, because I do feel like I've been more like anxious lately, like just a lot of anxiety. I do struggle really, really, really badly with anxiety and um, I feel like it, sometimes when when there's a lot going on and I feel kind of like all over the place and disorganized I, I just I don't know what to do with myself and I just break down every once in a while and feel just really really overwhelmed um, So I just kind of want to take a moment just to t tell you guys like I appreciate you so much And I appreciate everybody who reaches out to me ask questions comments on my videos um, sends me messages and um, I just I, I really want to be able to get back to every single one of you um, within like five minutes of when you ask it um, But I can't do that because I just I can't be on my phone constantly all the time I found myself always on the phone always on my phone completely forgetting everything that I needed to do just even around the house Forgetting to make dinner all the time and all of a sudden it's nine o'clock and I just completely forgot to eat forgot to make dinner and I would just be on my phone all the time So I'm trying with it with the schedule that I want to do. I'm trying to make it to where I will allow myself certain times of the day to answer questions and get back to you guys because I really, really love engaging with you guys, but it's so hard sometimes because it's just very, it's very involving. It can be very overwhelming. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for messaging me. And this does not mean don't message me. Please don't message me. It just might take me a little bit longer to get back to you guys. I feel like I probably need to move on from that topic because I uh, am so excited for moving on to what I'm gonna be doing in my business. And um, that is trying to get new vessels. So trying to outsource and get different kinds of um, options than just the, the matte black jars that I've been using for so long because I feel like with those ones, I it relied so heavily on just having those matte black jars. And ever since everything that's happened right now in the world, I haven't been able to get the matte black jars as easily. 
And those are the only candle jars that I have right now. So that doesn't really give me that much freedom to have candles up all the time. So I've been trying to outsource and, and see what more I can do to have um, different different jars, different candle jars. I'm working on uh, my tins, which I need to wick those. I've been trying so hard <laughs> to find one wick that works. If you guys wanna throw me a bone, let me know if you guys use soy tin and you use the, the tins and you do one wick, what wick do you use? I'm just so curious. Um, I've tried a couple different wicks and none of them have really burned very cleanly for me. So that's why I've been looking at a double wicking it because um, I feel like it can burn a little bit hotter than it would if it was a little bit of a taller vessel um, because with it being short, I feel like a hotter burn is okay, especially with it being in a 10. I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts on that. Um, I would just be so curious to find out what you guys do um, to wick those. So for the jewel collection, um, that one is the one that I'm doing the three eco ones. And we are gonna be doing the cranberry apple marmalade. I really like this one when I was testing it out. And we're gonna do 21 grams of fragrance oils with 262 grams of wax. So my recommendation for you guys, because I know that a lot of people um, have been getting really frustrated with the supplies. Um, the, uh, the suppliers that we're getting our supplies from have been out of stock like crazy. And I feel like everybody's getting a little frustrated because we can't get what we need. And I have always felt that, and this is what I actually should have thought from the beginning when I started this business. I did put all of my eggs in one basket. I pretty much get everything from California Candle Supply and I can't do that. I have to be able to have multiple suppliers for what I need. So um, that is why I'm trying to diversify what I have and what I sell. Um, and I always recommend you guys to um, take the situation at hand and you have to pivot and adjust to what's going on and what the reality of the, of the situation is. So I'm also looking into doing room sprays, linen sprays. If I can ever get my head on straight, I will definitely work on those. Um, but that is one thing that I wanted to mention to you guys because I don't want you to feel um, stressed out and overwhelmed and like you're never gonna be able to have a candle business because of everything that's been going on. You just have to adjust to the situation. Okay, and now for the Monaco, we're gonna be doing my favorite, which is the pumpkin souffle. I wanted to use this one so that I would have more of the scent because it's the biggest one. <laughs> so I wanted to do that one because of that reason. So we're gonna be doing 341 grams of wax with 28 grams of fragrance oil, which is perfect. I don't even have to measure it. You just put that in there because one ounce is equal to 28 grams. There have been so many times actually that I have made videos and I never posted them because I felt like they were too negative. So I feel like in these kind of videos, I don't know, I feel like it's just kind of an open book. Like I talked to you guys about how I'm feeling. Not every single video has to be sunshine and rainbows and super positive and look at, look at what I'm doing and look at my business, you know, all that kind of stuff. I just feel like it's just, it's just me when I talk in these videos. It's just who I am, this is me and it's not me as my business, it's just me as Erica and who I am, and I'm, gonna, I'm able to talk more personally. I don't usually get really personal, um, but in videos like this, I feel like I can a little bit more. Um, this pumpkin souffle smells so good. I'm so glad I put it in the largest vessel. I actually think it's tied. So this one can hold a fill weight of 13 ounces, same with the Maya. So the mermaid one and the white and gold one hold the same fill weight. So what are you guys excited about for the fall season? Are you guys bringing out any new collections or what are you guys doing? I've had actually quite a few people ask me um, how I go about bringing out seasonal candles and, and do I only have a certain amount for the season? and then I have my regular candles, or how do I determine that? And honestly, I'm learning as I go. I really am. A lot of this is me just trying to figure it out along the way. 
because this is my first real year ever since March of selling. So I'm learning just like everybody else is learning and I'm just documentary, documenting as I go. But something that I've kind of thought to myself that I kind of want to do is, um, is, do, is have my regular scents that I have all season long and then launch three to five new scents every three months. So every season I'll do those seasonal scents. Also, I apologize if you guys can hear any noises outside. I cannot make candles with all the windows closed. Um, I even shut off my AC for you guys um, just to not have that background noise, but I have to have these windows open. Um, I'm even looking into getting a respirator. There's been a lot of people talking about respirators on Facebook, and I feel like I kind of want to get one because... I don't know, I feel like I've been getting just more affected by it, um, the more candles I make at a time and how many scents are in here. And I live in an apartment, so there's only windows on this side of the house. There's no windows over here, so there's no cross breeze. Um, so it can get pretty um, congested. Next up is the Copenhagen Concrete Vessel. And one thing I wanna mention is I absolutely love one wicks that are able to be held down by a um, clothespin. So if any of you guys are using a vessel with one wick and a clothespin, consider yourself lucky. It is the easiest way to hold down a wick. I absolutely love it and I miss it from uh, when I used to do, uh, when I used to make candles in these straight sided nine ounce jars. I love that about it. So with this one, it has an interior diameter of 2.75, um, fill weight is 10 ounces. So we're gonna do 262 grams of wax with 21 grams of fragrance oil. This is actually the same um, fill weight as the Red Jewel Vessel. So far, I gotta say the, uh, what is that one called? The Monaco, the Ceramic, the White and Gold. Love that one, I think it's gorgeous. Um, of course, the Concrete one, beautiful. I would say those are my two favorites. Um, I actually really, really like the Moulin Rouge collection. I'm not a huge um, fan of the, the style of it, but those ones I actually really, really like. I don't like regular, like old school style of the apothecary jars, um, but this one, like even like with the little lid, it's just so adorable. Um, the Jewel collection, probably my least favorite. I'm not a huge fan of uh, like the, the see-through color jars. Um, however, for Christmas, I feel like it actually really works for like the holiday season. Um, so we'll see, it probably will look really nice with the white wax on the inside. And then the lid is just a silver top like this. Um, so we're gonna see how that one does. And then of course, like the Maya collection with the uh, mermaid, I just think I love the texture of that one. The only thing I think about that one though is how do you, how do you um, label it? I'm a huge fan of labeling. That's why I really, really love the um, Copenhagen collection just because it's literally a blank slate, however you wanna label it. Um, all of the other ones, uh, actually, you know, the Jewel collection, it does have a nice um, smooth surface, but like the, um, the Moulin Rouge and then also with the Monaco, I just, how do you, how do you label it? That's my favorite part. How do you label these? Okay, so this one is ready and it requires, this one we're gonna be doing white birch for the Copenhagen Concrete Collection. That was alliteration. And this one is 21 grams of fragrance oil. It smells very similar to a scent, a walk in the woods from California Candle Supply. This white birch smells very, very similar. A lot of you guys ask me how I clean out these pitchers in between using them. I just wipe them down with a paper towel. I've never had any issues, so like I used the pumpkin one before this. I doubt I will get a pumpkin scent from this candle when I used all white birch just because I used a pumpkin scent beforehand. Um, oh my gosh, does this fill up all the way? I'm like afraid. I'm like, there's a little bit of the lid. I feel like I filled this up too much. There's still a little bit left too, so we're gonna, hmm. I feel like I didn't give enough room. Um, luckily, I'm not gonna be putting the lid back on it, but I would probably fill this up 
to either nine or nine and a half ounces if you want to put the lid on because you know, there's definitely only enough room pretty much for the wick um, and not for the lid. That was one of the things I was curious to with the fill weight recommendations. I was curious how um, where it would land on the vessel and these are so much more full than how I'm used to when I make my candles because with my candles there's like this much space from the top of the jar um, to where the wax sits at. So, so much more different. Um, we are on to the last vessel, you guys, and we are almost done. So this is the Maya, I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and we're gonna be doing Christmas hearth for this one. Um, I just felt like it was green, Christmassy, so we'll, we'll do that with this. And then, so with this one is a uh, 13 ounce, fill weight or 369 grams. So we're gonna do 341 grams of wax with 28 grams of fragrance oil. I'm glad I saved an easy one for the end. I just love to be able to just pour this in there. It makes it so much easier. Um, and then one thing actually, I did wanna answer some questions that I've been getting um, lately when it comes to my Presto Pot. One uh, question I did get, yes, you do melt the wax with the Presto Pot. That's exactly what it is. You don't have to do a double boiler method, so you don't have to put water in here and then put the wax in the pitcher and put it on the inside. I literally just have the wax in here um, and melt it down with. And then when I'm done using it, I just turn it off and it solidifies. And then when I wanna use it again, I just reheat it. And that's totally fine to do, you can do that. I really have been trying to take all of the questions that you guys have been asking me in my videos and through messages and turning them into videos. I feel like that's the best way to go about making my videos is making them based off of questions that I get. Um, and I don't, I don't mind doing more Q and A videos. I actually have been thinking about doing a live, but I don't know how to do it because I film on my phone. So I was thinking about maybe going live on Instagram, but why does that freak me out so much? You guys, seriously, I am so shy and you would never think it, but I'm able to edit and I'm able to, you know, edit out parts of my videos where I'm just kind of staring off into nowhere land. Um, and I'm not able to edit that out when it's live. So the thought of everything being live kind of freaks me out. But if you guys want me to go live, I feel like I probably will. Um, I just have to really kind of force myself to just do it. Um, because I don't know. I, I just... I feel like it's something that I need to do. I need to start interacting more on Instagram. I'm so used to posting photos, I need to start posting more videos. These are all so, so beautiful. So as you can see kind of where they all sit and where they all filled up to. So this was the one where I was thinking I was filling it up too, too high. Um, so we'll see once it hardens if I can trim the wick and still get the lid on. Um, that one right there. That one's already starting to harden. I tried not to, I did have to push them back a little bit. So hopefully they don't get too many little, little bumpies on them. But this is just these beautiful candles. Also, I wanted to just show you guys a close up of the candle that was going on in the background of this video the whole time. This is also a vessel from 1617 and I love these so much. I think they burn flawlessly. Um, I did two Eco 2s and I just think it is burning so, so well. The jar doesn't get too hot and there's no soot, um, no smoke. It's just a beautiful, beautiful burn. I love it so much. And we are done. Uh, that was a lot of fun and I'm really happy that I was able to make some candles with some of these new scents. Um, so I'm testing out the jars and the scents at the same time. So that's really cool. Um, and I can't wait to actually light these and really test them in about a week or so. I'll give them some time to really cure. So I uh, really, really like making these videos. I really like just having an easy flow of just talking with you guys and not feeling pressured to um, say the right things, even though I always feel that pressure because I'm just, I feel like I always need to be saying the right things. There's probably so much I'm gonna cut out of this video, by the way, you guys, because I'll rewatch it and be like, I don't need to say that, that's too much. Um, but anyways, uh, enough of me rambling and blabbering on. I appreciate you guys. If you guys have made it to this point, uh, you guys are the best, honestly.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it so much. If you guys liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Canico. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.